What's going on, everybody? That's Cheesy, and guys, I am pumped for this episode. This is the F1 2020 uh, My Season Career Mode. So this is the first time I'm booting up this game, have not touched this game. Um, and I, I did that out of respect uh, for you guys, so you guys can experience it with me uh, for the first time. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty pumped, as I said. This is probably uh, the most excited I've been for a game, obviously, because of the My Team aspect of the career mode and uh i think that that's just going to be absolutely amazing i think that we're going to have a fun time huge fun time uh with this game and the things that you can do uh with the career mode obviously i'm going to be having um just the regular career mode and then the my team but uh as we can already see the new improvements that they've made uh through the game you see that the, this 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 beginning cutscene. you have the uh original uh obviously the, the original f1 song that that we all uh know and love but then the different cutscenes of the cars i think that's pretty interesting um and i do know that there is uh f2 f2 season that you can play a full season and uh i've uh i've tried the f2 season or the f2 cars last year uh in, in that career mode you can you can have them uh play just a little bit before you jump into f1 as you guys have probably seen in that career mode but if you guys want me to do like a full career of this uh full career uh, i'll be more than happy to i'm uh just so excited i want to get the most out of this game play it as much as i can and uh, make as much content as i can for you guys um so i think that that'll be pretty fun but uh f1 2020 game uh let's get into this so this is going to be uh, pretty cool. So it's, it, it is licensed by both F1 and F2. So you have both options of those cars. And uh, this, I think that you have to do preseason work. You have to get your uh, team set up and everything about that. So I think that that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I'm using the G923 for both all, uh, this and the F1 videos. So we don't have anything set up right there. Um, end the user license agreement. Uh, we have to read that real quick let's scroll down but uh right now i so the, the wheel wasn't pre-set up which is a little bit disappointing so i'll have to go in and set that up um codemastersrace.net all uh i don't know instantly sign into race.net to earn rewards epic suit epic livery is that for your cars i'll skip that for right now um and then yeah, this, this is the stuff that we want the character creation let's go so choose the avatar i'm assuming that the guys are similar uh from last year uh some new guys i think new new men and women i like that dude that dude looks a little bit like me um let's see and if you guys have not watched uh anything there is a uh, there's there's a preset in project cars which i'm making an episode on it, it, the name is just race driver and I think that that's what the name that we're gonna go with, just to, just for the memes. And in NASCAR Heat Five, that's what I've been doing. So I think that that's how we'll keep it. Just so generic. Uh, uh, I love it. Getting to the bottom now. Uh, I think that first guy that we uh, saw, uh, I I like that 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 dude right there. I, I like that uh, that skin tone. Uh, so let's go for Merca for my recent art race. And. Uh, all caps driver all right let's go initials dri i think okay this is this is where it gets interesting the names i don't know why i went straight to the bottom but let's uh go up for the names uh todd turner Ooh, the scientist i kind of like that i might go with that all right uh three four is our number that as it's always been three four uh, I'll go with uh, no. I don't. I, I want to keep my three four number. I like that. Let's uh, confirm my profile. All right. So I think that I need to get my wheel uh, configured. Um, podium pass first. Uh, we'll, we'll close out. We'll check that out. But I need to get my wheel configured, and I'll catch you guys uh, once we get that that done and uh, everything's clean with that. All right. So wheel configured now, and uh, we're gonna start a new my team career. Um, but first, I want to check. Um, what 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 did this uh the the new screen is what it looks like I, I see that they haven't changed uh too much we'll go into these uh character liveries later but i i'm what i'm most interested is is the classic uh car showroom you have the f2 f1 but uh i think that i want to see the classic cars uh, as 
uh, as we go. But the one thing that they have not added in this game that I'm a little bit disappointed about is the support for mouse. Um, just in the screen, it would be just a little bit nicer to have the support for a mouse. And uh, that, that, that would just make everything just a little bit smoother. You know, other games have done that. So that's just one thing that I would like to see Codemasters improve upon, or now EA, uh, that, that they've got that game. But not not a huge nitpick, uh, just, just something that I've uh, like just, just noticed uh, in this time, in these like four or five minutes that we've been in this game. So uh, not, nothing against them against the game. But these, these older cars look nice. If there's challenges that you can do with these older cars like you could in past games, I'm I'm super uh, happy about that. I really wanna try those out because the, the McLaren and the Renault, uh, the historical, historical cars, I love the Voodoo phone cars. Uh, the, 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 that sponsor logo looks very clean. But um, I think it's time, guys. I think it's time to start my uh, my team career journey, uh, my team. So you can uh, entering into the world of Formula One, my team mode. You'll be both owner and driver. Welcome unique set of challenges. Team. Here, you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First that, that's first. what I'm hoping. Let's choose your character. All right, so uh, race driver. I think that's that's the character that we're going with. Uh, I think that's who we'll be driving with for this season. Uh, is it gonna select it for me? Yo. Uh, yeah. All right. Great. Now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. All right. Key details. Team we'll details. What is it gonna be? One. What name would you like to give the team? All right. So I've given this a lot of thought, and I've talked about the colors too. But I think that we're gonna go with the uh, eucalyptus speed here. Uh, eucalyptus after uh, uh, KB. Uh, if, if the podcast you have not listened to, man, uh, you're, you're missing out on a lot. We're gonna be uh, going through eucalyptus nice. speed now, though. That's, uh, that, that'll be your team. And the, the green so colors, you know, unique colors. So for the sponsors here, you have a uh, signing bonus to the team up front. That's, that's a lot of money. This is vital Four million. to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly, weekly income, income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional gold bonus. All right, no worries. So I'm definitely looking at money, but I'm also looking at uh, logos like that Slingshot Fuel logo looks very nice. And these guys who are paying a lot of money, five million dollars. Uh, I don't think they'll and earn 25 constructor championship points in the season. That's a lot for a first starting team. I'm assuming we're going to be at the back end of a grid if I have my AI uh, tuned correctly. So I think that 15 constructor championship points is in season and that's 4 million gold bonus. I think that that is a large sum Fantastic. of money and I think that now that's good. Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We get to choose. We need both performance uh, and durability cool. from our power unit, but we also need to balance. How books. is Ferrari at top? We're that's going what I want to hear. We have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. How is how is Ferrari at top? That that doesn't make sense to me. I would assume that Mercedes and Honda, like Honda's a little bit less. I'm gonna choose Renault though. I think we're gonna go with Renault we with their balance the a little bit. Team now. Jump up where we're gonna we start at the back. A teammate for you. Oh yeah. We These do. are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers okay. earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, if the faster the team levels up, really cool. the faster our income will increase. That, that the higher can. a driver's experience, right, the more in, resource though. points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. All right, thanks. Um, so we have all these drivers to choose from, uh, and Nick DeGreeves is obviously at top. Uh, and I see Antoine Hubert there. Uh, I think it is nice that F1 have included him. Uh, I'm not gonna choose him. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, that, that is a respectful thing to do. 
uh, or I'm, I'm just not going to choose him. Um, but uh, I think that including him in this game is very, very nice. I think that they have done uh, the, the right thing. So I see that uh, this guy has 74 pace, 61 overall, but 74 pace. That is something, something else. I think I think I'm, I have to go with him. That that is fast, dude. That that dude is speeding, but his uh, experience like is can very this power slow. Unit supplier um, and teammate. So go and, ahead and confirm I'll, if you're happy. A little bit sad, but uh, I think that later on I do want to. Uh, Let's select try, the edit uh, delivery Jah we'll be Jahan this season. Uh, from F2 Carlin, I believe that is his name. I don't know his last year. name. Jahan. And don't worry. Dumba. We can edit our look at any sure, time from Two HQ. Indians on a team. That that would be amazing. Uh, so livery. I'll go back and change now this we once we can later. Team branding. I'll change all this badge. stuff later. Edit it. Um, create one from scratch. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm just change but not least, everything. We need to pick team colors for the rest of our branding. Okay. You'll see these colors throughout HQ. I think at HQ, once you go back in HQ, you can change everything up. So I think that that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna accept it, and uh, I think that once we right. get that's final, we, need. we can you can go back finish. and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Amen, amen. I, I'm I'm good with that. Let's go. Okay, so season length. I think we want to go with the full season here. 16 races and 10 races. That is a uh, uh, a big cutback, you know. I think uh, 22 races is uh, like the the best because you get the best of everything. If you can customize it, can you customize it? I don't even know. Race style F1 2020 allows you to customize your race experience in the way you want. There are two race styles available: standard and casual. These styles help assists standard race styles players who have already had some experience in racing games those who want to improve their skills casual is most acceptable for formula one experience to date and uh it'll assist you so this is just the assist settings i think and uh i think that i've I'm, i think i'm a little experienced i think that uh this is the idea that I've, the, the thing that i've come to in the in my team career mode i think that i want to uh just casually play you know uh manage it and casually race we're gonna race at the top but uh, i think i'll have assist turned on at least uh, a gearing assist you know just a little bit casually um in the f1 uh career mode where we play as a uh, uh, actual race driver uh not not the owner and just the f1 team that's already been there i think that i'll uh, go go a little bit more sweaty you know uh race a little bit harder for you guys uh and uh, i think that'll be fun so i'll actually use the gears there and i'll uh, put put my racecraft to the test so uh keep it on experience now um i think that uh i think that we, we should just turn off the gear assist on experienced uh i think that manual and suggested is what we want um but, but we'll, we'll try it out we'll try it out for the race and I think that once I get to, to the test, to the race uh, and practice, we'll, we'll change it out there. But I think that everything looks good. And I think that we have an interview coming up. I believe that's what, that's what I've heard from the rest of the sim racing community. Meeting the press, yeah. So meeting the press, uh, receive a lot of media attention. And how uh, you talk can impact your, your career. Interviews occur after any season race weekend uh, according to what happened and how you performed fine art of diplomacy keeping press on side and team direction so i think that these answers uh influence where the money goes to and acclaim and last year uh when when we said something bad about the team the team of claim was affected uh is that team at hey, marduk uh, benjamin daly man three. on uh, as, as the announcer that's pretty cool Shout out Hello to folks him. and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting that's been. entries in the sport that, that looks like for many him. years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter I mean, the sport he's, over he's the last decade amongst creator. their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner 
is also its driver. Yeah, race driver is the owner yeah. and the driver. One, two, My name Rabbit, is Reese, race driver. Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. But we're going to go to the top. This team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Never Whatever never happens won. this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do Thank you, you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? I do, but I think you have to give it to the team, right? I don't know. I think that the, the team answers are the ones that I want to go with. Uh, talking about the team and giving support to the team. Uh, the team is 100% behind them, and uh, we can do this together. Needs two right? drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammates? Um, I'm drawing towards the top answer. Uh, he was the right fit for our team and understanding new appreciate that we're providing an opportunity that we're providing but I feel like that's like saying that who isn't good enough for another team uh, yeah I think that we, we really appreciate the potential in them that that, that gives them no one aims a little to bit finish of hope. bottom of the table who's the team you're aiming to beat um, okay, so this will set our rivalries for the uh, rest of the season, I believe, and uh, this is very important. I think that uh, if we uh, go head-to-head -head with Haas, that should be uh, pretty good. I think that that's where we'll want to settle, but I don't know if we want to set our goals too high. I'll, I'll go with Haas. How are you expecting that's the car right. to feel out on track? Um, this, is, this is where we uh, can give credit to everybody, and uh, I think that we can improve our uh, chassis, improve our traction, and everything. Um, but I think that aero is the first thing that the we want to develop, get as much downforce as we can. Both on and off the track. You're How correct. Are you planning to catch up to them? Um, I think that we have a good power unit. I don't know. I think, uh, is there any answer for that? Uh, the, the, either the bottom or the right. Yeah, bottom, I think, is the right, because it talks about power unit. So, yeah, power unit, notice that. We want to do that. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. Yes, How it is. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? Um, the left one, maybe, overtaking is a labor of power. I, th I think that, that that's a good answer for the press. Yep. So, we're just improving our air and department. Finally, I love that. Which of your new departments are you most proud of? Should we go with power unit? Yeah, power unit again. Hey, let's go. I don't know if those give us upgrades well, or just make them better. We've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. All right, thank you. Okay, great, thank you. That's a wrap. Hey, this, this is gonna be cool. It's gonna be very, very fun. Enjoy, enjoying this game already. This game is uh, very fun. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly you. what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where okay. we think there's room for more. And All while right. you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? Okay. Resource management. This is all the stuff that uh, goes into the, the other team, I believe. This is where you facilities. can view our current facilities and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. All right. I don't know if we have enough cash. 600k is not a lot of money, but the, also R&D tree. This is where uh, we spent a lot of money, or a lot of points last season. So I know a fair amount about this. We already have six power unit upgrades. That's nice to see. Uh, maybe we did something. Not at the bottom, though. Vehicle, corporate. Secondary sponsors, so you can get multiple sponsors. So uh, I think we have yeah 1,000 R and D points. Uh, that this doesn't look is the driver too bad. market. From here, you can see pertinent details on each driver in the sport. Compare okay. them with each other and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation window rolls around, this is where you will approach any drivers you wish to hire. Okay, but we have uh, our our driver. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I apologize, but. Uh, Let's go to our R&D tree and spend some of the points that we have. We have a, uh, a small upgrade there. That That's good. We have, but we don't have any chassis upgrades uh, so far. 40% chance of failure. That's not looking too great. But uh, cross the fingers and hope for the best, I guess. 
aerodynamics. Two two point five million dollars, man. What are you talking about? That's a lot of money. Yeah, they're both. They're all two two point five million dollars. Okay. So I did change out the livery, but you guys will have to see that at the car review. I'm, I'm not gonna show it yet. Hey boss, I think let's, we let's could go better to car manage review. our time by organizing some team activities. Head to the activity screen to see activities? what we have available. Okay. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. That and that's true. where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. All right. Uh, team activities autofill. So we have some days to fill. Um, second driver experience. That, that looks good. I'm not sure. I think we want to get second driver experience as far up as possible. Try to train him up. Um, but let's advance. Let's go to car review. You guys will see this beautiful car that I made. This uh, eucalyptus speed. No, no. Press any button. Okay, let's see. Look at this. That's, that's a nice car. That is a eucalyptus speed car, man. That is absolutely perfect. Great, great craftsmanship in that paint, you know? That that look, see that looks nice. It's a nice car. Alright, but uh, I think that we have to advance time and then it'll be time for the Australian Grand Prix. Um this is the podium pass. Let's check this out real quick. It gives you access so it's like a it's like a battle pass almost in battle royale games. But uh I think that next episode will be hopping into our first Grand Prix. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like uh, on the video. And guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.